I'm Dan Galusha and welcome to another edition of Shooting Blank. I've got a quick tip for you about your magazines. You know, if you buy a firearm or a air gun that has a, well, say a magazine with it, which a lot of them do, such as your Gamma Swarm has its 10 round magazines, most all your firearms, your semi-autos, they have got a magazine that is removable. All right, if you, and if you're like me, I want to make sure that I remember which one was the OEM, the one that originally came with it, because 10 chances one, you're going to buy more magazines. And if you have to send that firearm back in, they're not going to want those aftermarket magazines. They're going to want the one that came with it, because that's the one that they figure has caused whatever the problem is, if it is a magazine problem. So what do you want to do? Well, what I do is I mark them in a couple of ways, and I'll show you here. This is my Security 9 that I have. This is a Ruger Security 9, and sometimes I'll put them on the bottom, which I'll show you here in a second. But what I will do is like this one. I've got it marked, OEM. I put a label. This is a type of a label that comes in the label makers, but I had some extra tags, so I'll keep those extra tags. And then I'll put them on there and I'll just write on it like that. Or even that tag shows me. That's my OEM. You know, it's marked. And it's just about what I would be doing with the next one. Here's my Smith & Weston. My M15-22. I was trying to get this out of my way. My magazine, right here, I got it painted right on the bottom. That's the one that came with the gun. I've got some others, and they are OEM magazines, but still, I want to make sure that the one that came with the gun that I used is there. Now, it's no big deal. Uh, in, in some cases, it's not. But now you get into a situation like your PC carbine, your Ruger PC carbine, and they will shoot more than one type of magazine. An SR9 magazine comes with that gun. But your Security 9, such as I've got, and I've got a lot more ma magazines for this, they will also fit into that gun. And the same way with the adapters, you'll have them so that you could put a blue Glock 17 into it, or you can put an American, the uh, Ruger American. So it takes a lot of different magazines. You really want to keep track of that original that came with it, because 10 is the one, that's the one that you first shot it with. So anyway, that's just a quick tip. Of, you know, just marking them like that. No problem at all. You can use a white paint like I did here, label like I did. Uh, I've even used the glow-on paint on it. So until next time, shoot safe and have a great day of blinking.